and she's played her five prayers and she's wearing a proper hijab, she should walk down the street proud because the color of the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky, the galaxy, he loves her. Okay, to be honest and to be real, we live in, you know, England, the UK, a non-Muslim country. And I kind of feel blessed, it might seem odd, but I kind of feel blessed that in some ways I wasn't born into a Muslim family and that I converted. Because I think when you're born into a Muslim family, is that there's only a few people who are strong enough to appreciate it. And what, what I mean by that is that, okay, we know the name Allah, we know that Allah is Al-Hakim, the most wise, we know that Allah is al samir the all-hearing, we know that Allah is al basir the all-seeing, but it's just words we read in a book. Like a lot of, we, a lot of us, we don't, like we do believe it, but it's not, it's not literal. And the reason why I say this is because, except for a few sisters, a few sisters that, mashallah, Allah has given them, you know what I'm saying, uh, yaqeen, you know what I'm saying, except for a few sisters, when they read in a book, you know, that Allah is Al-Hakim, the most wise, they just believe it by reading in that book, yeah? And when they go outside and when they live their life in college and uni and everything else, they live by that. So if Allah says that he's Al-Hakim and he created the sun and the moon and the stars and the skies and everything else, and he says that there's no joy, you know what I'm saying, in listening to music, and there's no joy in having a boyfriend or wearing tight clothes or going out there looking like a Barbie, like that person, that's them few sisters, they will actually believe it because they study the deen, and they have love for Tawheed, and they will follow it. But the sad fact, reality is, and wallahi, 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 you do not know how blessed you are to be born into a Muslim family. For you to be a female, born into a Muslim family, wallahi, you do not know how blessed you are. And I wish you could give, I could give you my eyes, and my memory, and a thousand other converts' memory, and show you what we've seen. Because you do not truly understand how blessed you are. And the thing is this, like I said, them sisters are few who actually believe in the book and the sunnah and live their life by it. And Allah blesses them with us a, 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 a life of sakina. Yeah, they have tests, but they overcome it. But for the sisters, the majority of them, because they're growing up in London, in this Western world, and shaitan is here, you know, and shaitan is not lazy, you know, you grow up, mashallah, mother praying, father praying, Islam, Juma, Abu Bakr, Omar, um, Omar Uthman, Ali, you hear all this stuff, you see Salat, you, you see Juma and so forth, but shaitan comes along, and at some age, you come in contact with movies and you come in contact with music videos and you come in contact with these other black, white, kafa girls and what happens, you've read this, Allah is Al-Hakim you know, and you know that he controls the sun and the moon and that he controls the planets and he's, he's the most intelligent being there is but when he says do not do this and do not do that when you mix with the music and you mix with the movies and you mix with these uh, Kafir girls or non-Muslim girls, you start questioning it. Not literally, you won't say it, but what you want to do, you want to experience it first. And then when you find out for your experience, then, okay, Allah's al Hakim. So what happens for most sisters? They're living a life, college, uni, whatever it is, studying, whatever, living on a council estate, whatever it is. And then they mix with these girls and they see these girls walking down the street in tight clothes and so forth and they see guys looking at them and they hear them talking on a bus oh I'm gonna go and link this guy and I'm gonna link that guy and guys are liking them on Facebook and say you look hot and this that and the other and so forth and all these music videos and they want me to speak about music later so I don't want to overlap it 
all these music videos, you see the girl there smiling in the, you know what I'm saying, a little sister's skirt and whatever, and you see her getting attention, 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 and most sisters, most sisters, as I was saying, craving. most sisters, when they reach just before teenage years, or just into teenage years, when, she, when you come across the music videos, the films, and these girls, and they start talking about what ways they're gonna leave, because you see them walking down the street, and you see guys approaching them, and this, that, and the other. Then what slowly happens, inside your heart, you start thinking, I want a bit of attention too. I don't want to wait till I get married. You know what I said? I want guys to look at me. I want guys to turn their head at me. I want guys to like me on Facebook. I want guys, you know what I'm saying, to appreciate me. I want guys to show me attention. But the sad thing is, wallahi man, you've only seen the quote unquote good side of that life. 